three minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. And Mr. Speaker, I come to the House floor today to pay tribute to a remarkable group of African-American trailblazers and patriotic servicemen, the Mumford Point Marines. Uh, these distinguished veterans did not just defend our nation in a time of war. Through their courageous acts, they helped to spearhead a movement where the goals of achieving equal opportunity and respect for universal human rights are now more intricately woven into our society. In 1942, President Roosevelt established a presidential directive allowing African Americans to be recruited into the United States Marine Corps. These African American recruits were trained at a segregated compound known as the Munford Point, a facility at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Over 20,000 African Americans bravely served in the Marine Corps during World War II, and they selflessly voluntarily put themselves in harm's way to defend our homeland and to safeguard these freedoms. This past summer, Mr. Speaker, I had the honor of attending the reburial ceremony of Monfort Point Marine Private James Benjamin. Private Benjamin's remains and surviving family members were escorted to the Patriot Guard writers and members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars from the West Mortuary in Montezuma, Georgia. And he was laid to rest with full military honors at the Andersonville National Cemetery this past Memorial Day weekend. He was disinterred from a segregated cemetery because at the time of his service he could not be buried where white servicemen were buried. When it comes to recounting our nation's history and looking back at the trail and tri the trials and tribulations that were endured by the Munford Point Marines, I doubt there's a generation or group of World War II veterans who had it tougher than they did. Uh, people sometimes forget that they were fighting two wars, both foreign and domestic. But I would like to commend the spirit of these brave men uh, because they guide me uh, in my duties to maintain our government's commitment to fighting our troops, for fighting for our troops, uh, and for helping the troops uh, who protect our freedoms at this time. Uh, not only does that mean that we have to today maintain adequate salary and benefit levels for the military, but we've got to keep our promise to our veterans, our armed service retirees, and their families. Mr. Speaker, I want to commend my colleague, Colleen Brown, who has championed this issue and brought the story of the Mumford Point Marines to the attention of our entire nation. I commend the Commandant and the Marine Corps uh, for their efforts in making sure that our nation doesn't forget. And I urge my colleagues, therefore, to support H.R. 2447 and to honor the first black Marines with the recognition that they deserve and that they have patiently been waiting for. I urge the adoption of this bill, and I thank you, and I yield back to the gentleman.